This is Outdated, and welcome to part 31 of Let's Play Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. This episode is entitled, Falling to the Ashina Elite. So, last episode we explored the interior of Ashina Castle. There's one room we haven't gone into yet. So I'm starting here to make sure I haven't missed out on anything. Making sure I don't have any upgrades I can make, because I may have done a little bit of farming before this. I know I got the Sabimaru, I want that added. So the Sabimaru is an interesting tool. It um, It is another blade that comes out of your prosthetic hand, and you can use it to attack with it, and it actually can cause poison. And you can, of course, upgrade it, but that could come in handy. And so it allows you to do a flurry of attacks, so it can build up your opponent's posture. The giving him poison and stuff is just, you know... A really nice perk it poison is kind of like uh, when you set them on fire no except it's a little it, everybody has different resistances to poison just like they do to fire and red-eyed guys are really you know vulnerable to fire but <clears throat> the some enemies are more resistant or more yeah vulnerable to poison than others Goodbye. so this could, but it will when they're poisoned their posture bar doesn't heal very well and they take a tiny bit of damage because it is a constant bit of damage so they never get to rest enough and it, the fact that it actually builds up posture on its own adds something that you know the fire doesn't do so in some ways it's a lot better it depends on what you're fighting I, I don't think I don't know about the Sabi Maru and using it against say the chained ogre okay so let's see do I have any skills I would want to get Oh, I need five to get whatever that is at the end. Here I have the Nightjar Slash and Fang and Blade. Now going into the fight. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and get Fang and Blade and get it done. There we go. Because since I have a feeling this is going to be a mini boss or a boss, I, generally I'm going to assume I'm going to die at least once. So... I want to mitigate the amount of XP and gold that I can lose. It's like um, like with Dark Souls, whenever you get to a bonfire, just because, you know, especially early on, level up. Spend your gold and level up, or your souls and level up as quickly as possible. You know, as much as you possibly can. It'll increase your chances of surviving the next encounter, and it also makes it so they can't take that away. But any souls, or in this case, gold or XP that have it banked into a skill point, that you'll lose chunks of it. Now here we go. So usually, uh, let's see, Axe, Sabimaru, Flame Vent. Alright, here we go. I had to put in a new clip here, sorry. I had stopped playing there at that day and came back, because I wouldn't... I always want to be in the right frame of mind before doing this sort of thing. And I remembered something. Sorry, I kind of forgot something completely. I thought there was a merchant that was supposed to come here. I remember somebody, I was watching somebody play, and they had a merchant sitting here, and I don't seem to have that merchant. It's just been bugging me. I probably forgot to do something, or didn't realize I had to do something, or I may have just missed this person. So instead, real quick, we're going to go see... Our other merchant. Arguably my favorite merchant. This guy over here. Reform thief. Dead chicken in case somebody likes dark meat. There we go. Let's see if he has anything Retail useful. I want to unload that gold if I have any. And I do have some. I want to unload it for sure. So this is see 550 gold for a 500 gold Until coin purse. I would rather bank. lose that 50 gold, then if I died I'd lose, if I had 500 gold, 
I'd spend 550 to get the coin purse. I'd rather lose that 50 gold, because when I cash in the coin purse, I get 500, than to lose 250 of the 500 when I tied. So, there. That was just, like I said before, you spend up what you can. And one way this game helps with that is the um, coin purses. Besides upgrade materials, which, you know, but at some point you may realize, you know, I don't want to buy more iron or black gunpowder. You know, I don't know how much more of that I'm going to need. I'm picking it up everywhere. The coin purse is a really nice way to do that, but they have limited stock of those as well. So you can only go so far before, you know, it. there's a law of diminishing returns. So a yet more brilliant game design by From Software. Okay. Are we ready now? This guy will be my fourth prayer bead, too. I can, I can feel that prayer bead. I am ready for the prayer bead. I am totally ready for that prayer bead. So here we go. And now my controller's messing up. So one of my controllers, I had to swap out because I was out of charged batteries. And I have one that has a battery pack in it. And I was using that. And then it... It's battery pack ran out so I had to plug it in and now I'm using a battery one the problem is it's still registering the other one even though it's off all right here we go let's take this guy Ashina elite let's kill this. oh god um okay uh all right we're gonna rise and see what we do he is fast. Oh. Yeah, um. Alright. So normally in these situations, you're trying to learn from your encounter. You're trying to learn, okay, these are, this, this enemy's moves. What do I need to do to stop them? First off, I only saw one move. And the move was so fast. And there goes the controller fritzing out again. The move is so fast. I couldn't even keep up with it. So let's try again. I'm going to see if I can see any tails. I gave you poison. This is already better than the last time. Ow! Better than the last time. And that poison's working on his health. Oh my god, that one two slash is just killing me. God, I don't think I've deflected anything. Oh, I got you. Oh crap, he got me. I tried to poison him again, but... Oh, good lord. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got our res. Maybe I'll get lucky, and as he walks back, I'll be able to get a stealth block. Or not. If Sabi Maru, you brought poison. Now get out of that. Damn it. Okay. Okay. That was better than last time. It was definitely better than last time. It was still embarrassing, but it was better than last time. And that controller messed it up. It's really getting annoying, too. All right, here we go. We're going to try it again. I will defeat you. We're starting with poison, and then me getting out of the way. I think that's what I'm going to try. Get out of there. What I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to poison him, and then back off. Get more poison for me. Oh, he's still poisoned, so I guess I... Man, I got his health down to half. That's awesome. There's no way to stealth... Get the... Ow! There's no way to stealth this guy. Oh my god, that was just a bastard. Crushed me. And... No. Okay. So, the poison seems to be somewhat effective. I was able to get him down to half health just by getting him poisoned once, hitting him a second time with that attack, and there goes our controller again. Um, but good lord, I mean, I haven't even gotten close to taking out one health bar yet. Dude, you dodged it. Alright, there, there's your poison for you. Poison works quick to- ow! Okay, I need to learn to either dodge those attacks or... Lord. Res. He's still... Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. 
I am outclassed here, and I'm telling you, this controller's bothering me. It's really bothering me. I'm wondering if, because I do feel like my input, there's a little bit of input lag I normally don't have. I think it's because it's trying to communicate with both controllers. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to like stop and come back later when it's not having this controller issue? Because it's all because of the weird fluke circumstance of what I did with the controller and plugging one of them in while I'm using a different one when I had been using that other one and the system thinks I'm using that one. Um, or do I want to try one more time? Huh. Yeah, it's still going. I tried a fix here and it didn't work. You know, let's just give it a try. I'll still learn stuff. The key is to learn from my enemy. Here he comes. Okay, I just saw something. Right. So two things. One, he is susceptible to poison. Two, watch. Oh, I deflected it. Watch where he's holding his blade. You see the flash right before he attacks. Yes! Yeah, yeah. gotcha, I'm going down. Yeah, we got you this time. Freak, I figured you out. Flash, that's whenever I deflect. And then you don't like poison at all. It sucks for you. Come on, we got you down to... Oh, let's do this. Oh, my timing was terrible there. Okay, still got a res though, I can do this. I can do this, this is easily the best I've done so far. Hey dude, what's up? Almost gotcha. When I see that fight, oh crap, I'm in trouble. Heal, 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 heal. Alright, he's out of poison, I need to poison him again. Uh, apparently not. Okay, there, I figured something out. First off, you watch for the flash, and I didn't feel that input lag that time, so maybe that fix I did tried worked a little better. Oh, or not. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so when I see the flash, if I double tap block, I can deflect both of them. Oh god, but that time I got caught up in doing what I was doing, just trying to poison him. And it's, it's really hard to see when you're trying to do other stuff too. Good god. Okay, my timing's completely off now. There we go, I, I got one of them. And then he got one of me. That's right. Now go back to where you were, and I will yeah. And that was embarrassing. Okay. <clears throat> this guy. Okay, here we go. Okay, control. Never mind. I thought it was fixed. Alright, this may be a valuable lesson. Than lesson being. Yeah. Don't. Oh, I deflected that. Yes, of course you Yeah, I had small victories, baby. Um. That didn't work well. I tried to dodge it that time. Going to the right doesn't seem to be helping. So I think if I am going to dodge his double attack, I need to go to his right, my left. But I don't think the dodge is the best maneuver here. I'm not sure. See, I I'm, feel like I'm going right into it. Deflect him. Deflect them both. Poison you. Yes. Almost got gotcha. you. Almost got that health bar. Almost got that health bar. Come on. Posture bar sucks. Posture bar sucks. Got it. Gotcha. Yes. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting this guy. Let's do this. Oh, and he's still poisoned. Alright, here we go, here we go, okay. There we go, there we go. Oh my god. I just totally messed that up. Ah, oh, I got it that time. Itchy munchy. Oh crap. And I got caught in the double and then he took me out. But I still have a rest. I still have a rest. I just might be able to pull this off. Poison for you. Now get out. Alright, alright. Healing and deflected both times. All right, his posture bar is getting pretty high up there. I got a chance. I got a chance, people. Ow. Ah. I had a chance. I had a chance, people. Good God, he is so fast. 
here's the thing. And there went the controller again. All right. So here's the thing. This guy has been frustrating. This guy has been very frustrating, but this is a very important lesson for these type of games. There, with the exception of the controller problem, which is not a game problem or an Xbox problem, because I've had this kind of thing happen on PlayStation as well, it, it's that I just picked a really bad time. I should have stopped and just came back a little later whenever the glitch was fixed, because I've, I've had this happen on every console I've ever had, probably. Yeah. Except the old Atari 2600 back in the day, but you know, you could run over those controllers with a truck and they'd still work. But they still gave you arthritis at age 8. Alright, poison. Almost gotcha. Almost gotcha. Who's the boss? Huh? Who's the boss? And there's Tony Danza here, freak. Gotcha. Alright, cool. And I haven't even used my res yet. Haven't even used it. Okay, now I'm gonna use it. Okay, I have felt progress here. But this is an example. You have to just keep working at it and learning what the enemy's doing. Flash, and I, I mistimed it. Flash, and I mistimed it again. And he just sliced and diced me like a Genzu knife. Okay. Here we go. And there goes the controller again. Alright. But overall, the thing to remember, not counting this controller issue like I just mentioned, this fight is totally fair. I just have to learn what it is he's doing. There are times when it feels unfair. When I feel like, oh god. When I feel like I've hit the button and I didn't hit it in time. Like when my timing's just a little bit off, I'm still hitting it but not as fast. I'm not hitting it, tapping it at the same amount. Yes, come on. Come on, come on, come on, get the, come on. Crap, I lost my opportunity. Crud, that was stupid, 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 stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that that was my fault there. I was in the middle of the engine like a devil, and then when I got done, I wasn't able to get the death blow on him. Was it for you? And I'm out of Okay. Good lord. And there goes the controller again. You are annoying. And there it goes again. It's happening more frequently now. There we go. Let's give you some poison. One thing I'm just ow. One thing I am discovering. How important spirit emblems are. Oh, I double deflected that. The spirit emblems use all my prosthetic tools. That was embarrassing. And so, in these fights, like with the chained ogre here, I'm using a lot of spirit emblems. Now in the early game, which I'm still in the early game right now, you can buy spirit emblems. Ouch. You can buy spirit emblems from any sculptor's idol for like 10 cent a piece. If you are going to go into a fight and you don't have any upgrade mats to buy that you think you're going to need and you don't have any other stuff, and look at this, good lord, the controller's just killing me here. Um, I would suggest using it every chance you get on spirit elements because you're going to need them. Like, I think right now the Sami Maru may be my best chance against this guy because the poison does a lot of the work for me. I just need to get the deflection timing down consistent. Like, I can get it on occasion. I can do pretty well. I can double it a couple times. I mean, seeing practice every once in a while, like trying to get that double tap going. You gotta learn how to do it, and it's it's killing me here. Killing me, Smalls. Right, here we go. There's your Sandlot reference, I guess. Right. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Problem is when I try to get that extra blow. Yes, gotcha. Yes. When I try to get that extra blow in, that's sometimes where I get too greedy. Yes, did it. Yes. I'm figuring him out. I'm, I'm. Oh yeah, I butchered it. See, and here's the problem though. Execution has to be perfect, and I noticed his poison ran out. So now I'm thinking, where's my opening to Sabi Maru? Again? And instead of concentrating on the reflection. Oh, and we've almost got him. His posture bar is pretty high. Uh, too bad my body's pretty dead. 
Good lord. God. So is this whole episode gonna be me just dying to this guy? And this controller. Oh. Okay. I hate that controller right now. Alright, here we go. Come on, boys and Get out. Oh, yeah. The, the, notice that the, just getting one deflect on him there really bumped his posture up. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, that was terrible. But that's the screens when they get in the way, it kind of gets a bit distracting as well. So it's good to kind of get rid of those. Uh, let's poison him, and then watch me die. Uh, nice. Unseen aid and the controller. The stupid controller. Okay. Getting mildly annoyed here. And poison him, then let's just back off. Yep. Once he's poisoned, it, it does a lot of the work. I'm just going to try to stay back, watch for the flag, and then get hit because I messed up. And get hit again because I messed up. Yeah, you should really get rid of these screens. They're, they're not really nice for the decor. I have poison one. Oh, God! I guess the screens are gone. Oh, I tried to sub you more and then busted him in the face and he did it again. Okay, I have my res, but I'm warning I would rather have to do my res during the second health bar obviously. But if I can kill him now I can get this res this second res back. Uh or not. Deflected it somehow. Uh didn't deflect it somehow. His health was down to zero there, the poison does a number on him. I can poison him twice. Okay, Black Hat Badger is now poisoned. Lost Child has, po has Dragon Rod. The Surgeons have Dragon Rod. Oh, crud. Okay. People are getting Dragon Rod left and right. Because I'm dying too much. But I can heal them. And I will as soon as I can take this freak down. Alright, enjoy your poison. Oh god. That was way too close. So oops. Okay, there's some high in my excitement. Oh god. That was just seriously. Okay, so as I've been beating my head against the wall against this guy, there are times when you know like when I fought certain bosses in other games. I'll look up like strategies on how to take them down. You know, different methods that seem to work. And this, I think I've got the controller thing fixed now. We'll see. Um, so, just a couple of drops for some suggestions. Um, when it comes to From Software games in particular, um, a really good one that I enjoy watching the strategy guides are, is uh, Fighting Cowboy. He does a great job of like complete walkthroughs for games like Sekiro and, and so if you need some help because whenever I get stumped I usually consult his walkers I will say his skills are far better than mine so some of his strategies will not work for me because it, the, it you know one way to say it is it doesn't go by playstyle another way to say it is it's not that good but um, but nonetheless his usually his tactics are very sound if I can just develop the skills to pull it off um, Another one that I discovered specifically for this game, so I don't know a lot about them, is I Eat Games. Uh, it, uh, sounds weird, but it has this cute little kid say, you know, saying, I eat games. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. And he does walkthroughs that are usually more... What's the word I'm looking for? They're more s simplified. Like they, it, It's a little methods where he breaks it down as he goes. And he he like dissects the encounter. Yes, that's what it is. Back off. So those are a couple of suggestions. Also, um, one more, and although I haven't consulted him for Sekiro, I have in the past for Dark Souls and things like that. Epic Name Bro. Epic Name Bro is awesome. And I just died again. At this point, since this is basically a, hey, let's watch 
outdated die episode. <clears throat> I figured I'd, you know, drop some good comments on some channels that I use and watch. Those three are great for, seem to be pretty good for this sort of thing. Look, I think recently I saw on IE games there, they have a, seems to have a variety because there's only some Rage 2 stuff. Um, <clears throat> Epic Name Bro and um, Fighting Cowboy, they do a lot of different things, but it seems like they're known more for their Dark Souls related content. And also, if you enjoy the Dark Souls from software stuff, uh, and I, I may be saying this wrong, Nazi Video is a brilliantly put together channel. Yes, 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 yes. Oh god, I tried to heal and that was just really stupid. Um, let's go to pellets. And go to die. Okay, um, but Vine video is really cool for like getting into the details and the lore and stuff like that. It's fantastic. Oh god, I lost my lock on. And I'm dead. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I feel like we're going to be wrapping this episode up in just a little bit. But maybe, maybe we can come through and beat this guy before this is over. Let's do it. Let's end this episode on a win. I hope you don't mind poison. Freak. Alright. Got nice stones there, and... I don't know why I did that again, he's already poisoned. I don't know if it really like, I don't think it stacks. I don't know if it extends the duration or not. That'd be good to know. Somebody's probably studied that. All right, his health bar, look at that health bar. Oh my God, I can take him for that health bar. I don't know if I could just survive for like flat, more than five seconds. One health bar down. Come on. Heal, heal. Alright. Let's poison him. Yep. Got the dodge behind him. And poison. Oh! Okay, we're gonna take you down this time. We got you. Stay away from him. Oh. Alright. I've still got my res. He's at almost half health for his last health bar. Oh god. Okay. Well, the poison's still working. He's at half health for his last health bar. I might be able to pull this off. We'll poison pulls it for you and we'll back it off. And yeah, we are taking you out, buddy. We're done with your crowd. Crap. So, if there's one thing that this half hour has taught us, is I can beat him like this. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't succeeded, but the strategy does seem to work. For the last few times, I have gotten pretty close. But I'm hitting the fatigue point today, where I'm going to start having ow, diminished returns on my attempts because I'm just getting frustrated and tired. Ow. That was not a <clears throat> That was not a Ah, I'm gone. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. This is it. It's all or nothing. This time we're taking you down. We're going to poison. This is it. This will be the last attempt on this episode, and we are going to finish it in style. Ow. We are going to finish this so that all of all of my viewers are like, man, that, that's how you learn from a fight. That's how you take it down. Yes, a little more poison for you. And backing off, you're down to half health. How's that doing for you? And the poison's gone, and I did hit him with something more. So, yeah, once he's poisoned, he can't be poisoned again. Oh, that didn't go as well as I have. again. God. 
didn't stop something early when he's already poisoned. Because it's not. I noticed a minute ago, it was not in the direction. Gotcha. Oh, crap, that, I mistimed that. I did it too soon, and so he didn't get poisoned from it. Maybe he was time. Yeah, poison. Here we go. We're going to take you out this time. This is it, you freak. This is it. I'm going to end this episode on a victory. I oh, know you're thinking over my dead body, and I'm like, exactly. That is kind of my point here. Hey, you broke the screen. That's going to come out of your paycheck. Oh, yeah, here we go. More poison. Yeah. It's going to bring you close to the end, buddy. All I got to do is stay away. Oh, God. And I am out of spirit emblems. And I'm out of... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh God. Mm. Okay. And we're calling it today episode that will best be described as I get my butt handed to me. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, this has been Outdated. Join me next time for Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice when we beat this guy. Peace.